I'm painting trees in a negative painting and uh, this style of painting is called negative painting because we outline the trees in the first layer and then we paint around the trees. I put in uh, very deep shades right in the end and very light shades around the trees as you can see. Uh, I dropped in sap green around the trees on the top and uh, first I covered that area around the trees with a lot of water and just dropped in the colors into the water. As you can see I am removing the excess uh, water and then uh, dropping in but it does need a lot of water and you just want to create a wet and wet technique. So right on top around the trees I used sap green, crimson, burnt umber and then when I went further down I used um, ultramarine plus uh, burnt sienna to create a very dark hue around the trees because the forest from the base is always mm, very dark and the light filters through the branches on top so we have l lighter shades on top so oh, I am now dropping in very um, tiny drops of uh, lemon green to create the light and dark effect of the sun on the uh, treetops Then I poke out these uh, very fine branches from the trees as well. Uh, the trees right close to us will be of very light hues. And again, we will drop in the water on the tree and do these trees in the foreground right in the end. First, we'll paint our very dark trees with the uh, ultramarine and burnt uh, sienna right in the background. So you can see them that the very dark branches are way behind and then we have lighter hues of lighter trees a little in front and right in front right close to us are the lightest value trees so we get a very beautiful deep look in our forest and um, it should hold the um, person watching your painting hold his attention as to how deep your painting is and how three-dimensional it is and uh, this painting has to be done in many layers you have to wait for every layer to dry thank you for watching